Welcome back to the magnificent Impact Arena here in Nontabori, just north of Bangkok. More first round action today. Bottom half of all five draws. Top half was played yesterday, first round matches. And after that women's doubles, we can see that our next match is men's singles. And it's the 2019 winner, Chou Tian Chen of Chinese Taipei, up against the Wee Hing Sanon of Thailand. And then it will be men's doubles, and that's an intriguing one. The Olympic bronze medalists and recent winners of the Denmark 750 event, Ellis and Langridge, up against the three-time and reigning world champions, Asan and Seti Owan. Then it will be women's singles and Chi Shui Fei, who uh, now represents France, up against the Olympic champion and winner last week, Carolina Marin. It's actually a repeat of last week's first round encounter. Then there'll be another women's doubles and more Danes, Thrugel and Tuerson, beaten finalists at last year's Indonesian Masters 500 event, up against Kim and Kong, the number four seeds and seven time finalists in 2019. Then we'll finish with men's singles and Lo Kin Yu from Singapore, winner of the Thailand Masters back in 2019. He started that event as a qualifier and beat Lin Dan in the final. And he's up against uh, Witi Asan of Thailand, the three-time and reigning world junior champion in the last of our matches today. Well, when we look at the men's singles draw, of course, this must be the bottom quarter because it features the number two seed. Ung Ka Long, the two-time uh, finalist here at Thailand Open Events, is safely through against Wang Chalon of Thailand. And also in this section, Lovades and Manota from New Zealand. Wang Su Wei also safely through his first round against Ho Kwang Hee, former world junior champion, the young man from Korea. So here comes the Thai player, Supanyu Awi Hing Sonon, was actually a semi finalist at the Thailand Open back in 2018, lost to Tommy Sugiato in the final, but in the last 16, he had a terrific result over Lee Si Jia and a quarter final over Nishimoto. But here is the current world number two, Chou Tian Chen of Chinese Taipei, making his fifth appearance here at a Thailand Open. And Morton and I actually travelled down on the bus with him. We almost left without him, didn't we? And they. Uh, weren't sure whether he was going to be allowed because we're in a slightly different bubble to him. So there's one big bubble of all the Babinson community. Yeah, and, within that. and we said, no, let him on. And he went right down to the back of the bus because we were at the front of the bus. Social distancing at its best. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so this, as you can see, will be a sixth meeting between these two players. And if you uh, are a super new fan, that's a little ominous, isn't it? Because not only has Chu Tian Chen won all five previous encounters, Su Pan Yu, well, over the last 18 months or so, his ranking has dropped considerably. Was in the top 20 in the world, but going back to 2019, he played 19 tournaments and every single one of them was a first or second round loss. So he got promoted from the reserve list, actually replaced Lakshya Sain into the main draw. And there you can see he's 31 years of age now, born here in the Thai capital of Bangkok. 45 on the world ranking, and that just confirms what I was telling you, that he has been in the top 20. This is his 14th appearance at a Thailand Open. The first was back in 2006 when he came through the qualifying and lost in the round of last 64 as a 17-year-old. Last week, he lost to teammate Petrodub 
in the first round in three games. His opponent, the number two seed, Cho Tien Chen, one of five players in the men's singles draw who have won a Thailand Open title. And of course, his title was back in 2019, beat Unkar Long in the final and then lost to Unkar Long last week in the semi final stage. Five finals from 19 tournaments back in 2019, winning three titles, the Indonesia Super 1000 event. And of course, this event here, as I mentioned before, also won the Chinese Taipei Super 300 event as we look at our court officials for this one. Reza Roshan Omid Omid from Iran. And Roberto Tommy Oscariano from Indonesia is the service judge. There he is. So, just four tournaments last year for Cho Tien Chen, but he reached the final of one of them. Of course, that was the All England. Lost to Victor Axelson in the final two straight games. So not only has Super New Awi Hinsonong been a semi-finalist, he's also been a quarter-finalist previously. That was back in 2016. Chen, Chinese Taipei. And my left, Sapunia Abihings Nanon, Thailand. Sapunia Abihings Nanon, Serve, Love or Play. So the Thai player, Supanyu Awi Hinsonon, nearest to us against the number two seed, Cho Tian Chen. Recall Morton that in his semi final last week, Cho Tien Chen last Saturday, I think he was wearing heavy strapping on his shoulder. Was he not? Glad to see there's no strapping oh, on him yeah, today. There's no strapping today, but no I can't knees, really no remember. shoulders. Yeah, perhaps, perhaps you're right. Um, I didn't call that match, so uh, I honestly didn't notice. <laughs> So that's a good smash. Yeah, One, directed to the two. forehand side of Cho Chen Tien. Well placed. Oh, that's delightful. Two, oh. nice. Super talk. new Morton, he's, he's been a, a very good tour professional yes. in the past. Good results, he's beaten the likes of Chen Jin, former world champion. That was back in 2012 at the Denmark Open. But also gone to three games with two former world number one, Son Wan Ho, and twice went to three games with Lin Dan. Yeah, he's, a, he's, he's a good all-rounder, as we already can see here. He's a, he's a very good, you know, got nice technique, Four. moving well on court. Um, I think his downfall, if you can say that, not getting into the top ten, is the fact that he's not been able to play fast enough. The pace has not really been high enough for him to break into the top ten. And somehow, I think he's just getting more and more exposed, as you very rightly mentioned, that his ranking has been dropping over the past uh, 12 to 18 months. And it's, it's, I think, a clear sign that he's losing pace even, yeah. even more. Yeah, well, that's understandable at the age of 31, isn't it? Yeah. But we were talking about players who rely on uh, 
pace yesterday, Sina Nawal, yes. and the fact that her pace has dropped. If he didn't have much pace, well, that's very harsh of me to say that, but if he didn't have <laughs> yeah. fast enough pace in the first place and his pace has dropped even more, yeah. it can be quite devastating on the performance. It can, and that's also why his, his ranking is dropping. Um, the, the thing is that he doesn't really have a weapon that can penetrate the defense of uh, his opponents. He's got to work extremely hard to get his chances and, and wait for mistakes from uh, the opponent. And that is a physical battle. Oof, oh. just wide. Oh, yeah. he's challenging. Yeah. He begs to differ. Yes. Now, I said out immediately, Morton, what's your view? Oh. I'm putting you on the spot, you know. You are. I'm, I'm with you. I'm actually just out. Yeah, just out. Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah. There you are. Yeah. You are Challenge. really oh, hot on that. <laughs> it's <laughs> unbelievable. I know, considering <laughs> I'm normally so Seven bad. <laughs> Three, six. Good call, I mean, Judge. Yes, Play. good call. But I'm going to on lives from the mistake of the opponent and uh, not so much from his own winners Seven. and as I say Three. if you drop slightly in pace it's going to be even more difficult for him yeah eight three and I kind of sense that uh, Averhingsen on sort of feels the pressure on scoring points that he's already now seems to go closer and closer to the lines and he's missed a few already because he's perhaps a little bit over eager to try to score and he, he wants to try to upset the situation and, and really put pressure on Cho Chen Chen from the beginning like this attacking but he's missed a few so far yeah but this Four. one was beautiful Eight. It was a lovely one, wasn't it? Nice movement, look at that. After the cross-court smash, moving forward in court. Yes, it's nice to see from a coach point of view. Five, eight. So, the question, I know you didn't call his semi-final, but I did mm. call Chu Tien Chen's semi-final against Deng Ka Long last Saturday. Yeah. And he was something like 15-3 up in the opening game and only won it to 17. Yes, I saw that. And the question in my mind Six, is, is eight. he going to be focused and say, OK, right, let's go on and, and uh, get a match over and done with quickly, uh, really force home when I'm in a strong position, in a winning position? Well, the answer is so far, having been 8-3, eight, 8-6, eight, I know it's only three points, but I'm going to be interested to see whether he's able to do that or whether he looks as if he wants to do that. Seven, I, I, I usually call Zhou Chen Chen the master of three games. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he has an enormous tendency to lose the, the opening game. And, um, uh, and, of course, he is physically so extremely strong. Yes. And I personally, I must say, he's using all that fantastic physique in a little bit of a negative way, if I may say so. He's retrieving, he's yeah. running. Yeah. But he, I know and we have seen Very he can play a Nine, beautiful seven. attacking game as well. Yes. Because he's setting it up very nicely with good net shots and all that. But I would like to see whether he can strike a little bit better balance between his retrieving and his attack. Yeah. A better balance will make him a better player, in my personal opinion. Eight, yeah. Nine. Oh, no, I agree with you. He's, he's the number of times I've watched him and I've sort of thought, oh, he's cruising. And then it gets very tight and he has to work so hard. And as you rightly say, he's an incredible physical specimen. But he must put himself under mental pressure. That's a lovely defensive shot. Yes. And he's, I mean, it, I don't understand Eight. it. I, uh, maybe he's Eight. too nice a guy. He's <laughs> a lovely guy of he court. Is. And, he is. Uh, very polite, very friendly, super young man. But he doesn't have, you know, that killer sort of right. 
I'm in a good position, right? It's really yeah. Let's finished get it them over. Off. Yeah. Yes. See here, this is a very nice uh, yeah. shot, net shot, tumbling net shot he's yeah, playing. Man. Hey, and and he can one. play shots like that, and he's very good at it. Yeah. And I want him to be more aggressive at the front, set himself up very nicely, because he's got a good smash as well. Yeah. So a better balance between a more defensive style and the more aggressive style. Better balance. Yeah. Well, he's got a three-point advantage at the mid-game interval here in the opening game. His physio, Victoria Cow. Never stays long on court. She's the fastest, I was going to say, person, I think we should say, from the coach's bench. Well, she's not a coach, but runs onto court, runs off. I think some of the other coaches should be doing that. What do you reckon? <laughs> some some coaches are getting warnings by uh, or cautions by uh, the umpires. You know, please leave the court, please leave the court. Never been said to Victoria. <laughs> no. <laughs> Never. No. She's never been in that situation. 11, 8. Play. Yeah, another one taken off the right hip. Oh, that's a nice shot. Yeah, that's good. Good play. Yeah. Uh, that's well finished. Yeah. Force the short lift with that cross court net shot. Nine. Super new, are we hinting on? That's a beauty, wasn't it? Seeing it again, it looked even better. Yeah. Beautiful shot once again from Evan on. Yeah, it's a good deep 12. return of serve. Ten. Played with disguise. Seven top, eleven. But I think 12. you pointed it out so well, Jill. Uh, I, I I really think we we need to see a little bit of urgency in the game of Zhou Chen Chen. I, I, I really think, you know, he's, he's going with the motion, you know, he's just playing his game. Let's see what happens. I, I, I like a little bit more urgency. Yeah. Oh, that was going out, wasn't it? Yeah. But perhaps the drift. Yeah. Now you see, when he came Seven forward top. after that smash down Seven the forehand side of Super New, I thought that he could have actually yeah, rushed, it. rushed it. Yeah. Instead of which he just played, uh, of course, that one. Yeah. If he had really tried to pressure from that. Yeah, and, and he's got the pace. He can do it. We've yeah. seen him. He can yeah. do it. It's somehow it's not uh, programmed 14, that way. 11. Yeah. And um, I think it's really something he's got to work on in his game. Yeah. That's a good pressure from Super New. Oh, it's got that shot again. He seems one of the favourites. Taken. Yeah, he's got to watch out for these cross courts, Avanings and on, because he's done it on a few occasions. This one here, he's just opening up the court completely. Yeah. 
some people might think we're being a bit harsh on Chorty and Chen, but I think it's because he's such a fine physical specimen. You know, he's so strong, he's got such good movement, and as you rightly pointed out, he, he doesn't use it in a positive enough way. So he could still get better. He's 31 years of age, but he could still get better. Yeah, and that's why we're here. That's why we sit here and 11. we commentate on it. Uh, I don't fear that we are harsh in any way. I, I, it's, it's, it's set in the best possible way. Yes. And in the best possible meaning when I say perhaps he can strike a better balance between the defensive yeah. side of him and the aggressive side of him. I Just a little bit better balance. Yeah. That's all I'm asking. Yeah, and I totally agree with you. That's a good smash. Oh, that's a beauty. Now, you see, that's exactly what we were talking about a moment ago. He has got the pace to put the pressure on, on the follow-up. Definitely. Very quick on the last one. But so far, he's not really played his 100% smash yet. I think he's got, he's still holding back on that. Yeah. Thank you. David Thorpe. Wow, it's a good return of serve. Yeah, you can see his, you well. alluded to it a moment ago, Morton, but you can see Supan Yu, he's, he's trying to make the winner instead of working the rally. He's trying to play the outright winner, trying to play too close to the lines, too close to, to the, the net. net. Yeah. But I, I think it's, it's, a, it's a fair tactic because that's his chance. Yeah. I, I would uh, recommend if... if I had a player in a similar situation, I would do the same. Yeah. Let's go in and see whether we can uh, rattle the cage a bit. Yeah, you're not going to beat Chiu Tian Chen on the physical game, are you? No. He keeps going for that smash at the right hip of Chiu Tian Chen. Yeah. It worked the first time. 19, yeah, the thing is that uh, the response from uh, Zhou Chen Chen is normally in a situation like that, a straight block. So he knows where it's coming and he has not got to, to run the full diagonal when he's attacking the, the body. But of course, he can't just keep doing it there every single time. And here we saw 14, a very nice match down the 19. line from a similar situation. Yeah. So, good variation there from uh, Evan Inks now. Wonderful drop shot. 15, 19. Nice reverse attack from uh, 16, 19. Abby Hingson on. The last shot, try to have a look at this perfect angle here. Look at that one, look at that reverse. At yeah. the net. Perfect angle from the cameraman. 
and uh, well played by the Thai player. I like the fact that he was not going cross court in that one. So just three points in it and all of a sudden it's believable again. one left. Gosh, that was short as well, wasn't it? Very short. Yeah. I mean, of course, it was wide of the sideline, but interesting how it was nowhere near the back of the court. So game point opportunities for the number two seed, Cho Tien Chen. Game. Opening game, 21-16. Just about 18 minutes for that opening game. ก็ปรับปรับด้วยนะเอ่ออย่าลืมก็ต้องอดทนนิดนึงเพราะว่าบางทีตบไม้นึงไม่อยู่จังหวะ 2 So the players back on court. Opening game to Cho Tian Chen. This man, twenty one sixteen. Second game. Love all. Lee. Just missed it. Yeah, again, One, see long. a very fine example of uh, Abby Hingson on going too close to the line. But it's a, it's a good chance to take. Two, long. So Morton's three home players have won the Thailand Open men's singles over the years. And we know, of course, of Boon Sak Monsana. Yes. Won the title he was 17 years ago. Straight in my mind. Yep. And a man we commentated on yesterday, Danon Sak, Sing Sung Boon Sak. Yes. And the third one was the first one. I think he was still playing, or he was playing when you were still playing. Oh, I Sompo. certainly. Yes, Sompo well done. Kuka yes, well yeah. done. Oh, thank you for helping me a bit. <laughs> <laughs> That was a missed opportunity. Four, Dear long. me. That was barely half court from Chorty and Chen. Oh, that's lovely. 
that just proves your point, Bye. Martin, doesn't it? Bye. Yes, um, of course he's got plenty of time to play that one, um, but we, we know that he can play any shot in the book. He can move anywhere he wants, he can do it with pace, he's got the power, he's got everything. It's purely the balance. Yeah. I tell you something that I picked up on years ago and still Choti and Chen so often when he comes forward to the net instead of reaching out and taking the shuttle as high as possible lets yes. it drop low yes and I think that would help set him up if he took it higher like that yeah, one exactly that was a very fine example of yeah. it I think that he would have more opportunities to sort of play this attacking yeah. Uh, shot as he did then. Uh, he's having, a, as you say, a, a really bad habit, I must say, that he's sort of opting, he's got. He's standing there, he's waiting for it, and then opting to let the, the shuttle drop and play yeah. it from a, a lower position. Yeah. And um, it's taking the pace out of this game. Yeah. Now, a good return of serve. It wasn't the best of serves. Also, I like the idea of mixing it up. He was trying to serve a little further wide rather than serving to the tee. to finish the round. goodness <laughs> and it's in <laughs> that's extraordinary yeah quick reactions Nine, one. yeah apologizes to his opponent he's not supposed to do that that's a fair shot yeah yeah but he's such a nice guy in fact super new a wee hints along could have hit that shuttle anywhere else in court <laughs> and it would have been a winner yes I like those attacking clears, making it so hard for the opponent. I think Cho Tian Chen has upped his Ten. pace a little bit, hasn't he? Two. Uh, it was a well-constructed rally. It was, but I also think that he's using his power smash a little bit more now. Uh, when he's attacking, the, the smashes are a hit with more power. So sort of slowly, gradually building it up. So it's 11, a very, very two, commanding two, lead for Cho Tien Chen. 11-2 at the mid-game interval in the second game, having already won the first. Yeah, clearly wide. Oh, 
ยากนอนThat's a sign of a player just very open, much on top. Very much on top and <laughs> yeah. full of confidence. Yes. Forty-two. Well, we both had Chu Tian Chen down as favourite for this, but the second game scoreline is, to be honest, a little disappointing as far as Super New Awe Hin Sonong fans are concerned. Is he is he partly fatigued, or is he just run out of ideas? <laughs> I think the last one. Yeah. Thing, out of ideas, don't know where to score the points. Yeah. Uh, just going go. through the motions. Uh, yeah, it's 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 a tall order here. He's up against someone who is much much better than him. Well, it's possible, Morton, that Cho Tien Chen could have a repeat of his semi-final last week and, of course, the final in 2019 in the quarter-final stage. Yeah, I've noticed that. And he needs to be sharp if he's playing against Ang Ka Long. Yeah, he did well in the first match. Yes, he certainly did. He beat Huang Cholon 22-20, 21-12. Yeah, we thought that could be quite a tricky one for him. Yes. Oh. 
Yes, very well judged. He decided that was going long very, very early on. Didn't very he? early, yeah. Just delaying the inevitable. From Belgium. Service to Caroline Aminmil from Iran. smash again and with that 20. good smash comes match, match point ball. opportunities ball. for the number two seed Cho Tian Chen Only needed the one opportunity Match to close out the match. Only 20 one. points Steve scored against one. him throughout the entirety of that first round encounter. 36 minutes for his victory. 21-16, 21-4. Yeah, too loose that final net shot from Supanyu Awi Hinson on. Confirmation of the scoreline comfortable win for the number two seed and former champion Chou Tian Chen of Chinese Taipei
ספציפי, הם 